Hi guys, James here from Sunseeker Southampton. I'm down in Poole today and I've got something really special to show you. Uh, we've just finished lockdown, so we're starting to bring the production up to speed here in the, the main shipyard facilities. And behind me is a boat that was finished just before we went into lockdown, which is a unique, uh, it's number six of the Hawk series. It's our Sunseeker Hawk 38. So if I just spin the camera around behind me, here is boat 707. So this is number six in the Hawk series. Launched uh, last year to high acclaim. It's a Fabio Butzi hull design in collaboration with Sunseeker. Unfortunately, Fabio's tragically killed in a powerboat accident last year, but 55 multiple offshore world championships to his name. And it's easy to see really where the, um, the hull form and the design of this boat has led to that performance pedigree throughout the, uh, the design and implication. So let's uh, take a look head on down and see what she's all about. So standing 38 foot 11 overall, nine foot nine beam. So she fits inside a, a standard 40 foot shipping container, means movement if she's a chase boat to a large yacht. Very straightforward, that roof comes off in the middle and the tubes here on the side are removable and she'll fit straight into a container. Uh, obviously in the States, these are towable on the road with a big four by four truck, but here in the UK, generally kept in a dry stack or as a chase boat to a large yacht down in the Mediterranean. It's really easy to see Sunseeker's DNA running through this boat. So very, um, very rare, only a hand, hand built uh, number that we're producing and uh, all with a uh, Robert Braithwaite signature plaque on board. So this is say boat number 006 in the series. Uh, we've got a lovely stainless steel anchor and roller system here up in the bow. And you'll see some Fabio traits running throughout. So this is what we call an anti-stuff bow here. So it's a reverse chine. So that in a following sea, if the boat is coming in with a nose, it automatically pops the nose up and stops you uh, submarining and bringing the boat to a, an instant standstill. A uh, factory option there with the anti-foul underneath. So you could live in the water through the summer months. She's finished in a pearlescent white paint on the, uh, on the hull here. It's hard to see in the light, but it's got a sparkle to it. So it's a very pretty boat, contrasting with some black gloss up top and red upholstery. Uh, these are another Fabio patented design. So these are a stab, uh, called stab tube. Just means when the boats anchor that these sit on the water surface, giving additional stability. Um, and they've got onboard air compressor. So you can control the pressure in these, soften them off on a really rough day or pump them up to give you a maximum wetted area for running at speed. Uh, the engines are on what's sort of a mini standoff box on the back here, so you'll see this sort of extended wetted hull length under the back here. A uh, particular boat's got two underwater lights on the transom here. So you've got this maximum running surface underneath. And she's powered by a pair of really punchy Mercury 400R, which are a, a water-cooled supercharged 2.6 litre uh, straight six engine with uh, heavy duty bullet gearboxes here. So you can see very sharp and efficient entry here. Uh, we've got 22 inch four blade stainless steel propellers. Um, engines are 25 inch shaft and part of Mercury's racing line of engines. So they're uh, three year factory warranty is standard. They've got Mercury's digital throttle and shift and also uh, electro-hydraulic steering. So it's a really cool system, all integrates into the navigation displays. Let's head on up and take a look on board. So we've got to pull out a uh, stainless steel bathing ladder here. There is the option for those keeping in the med to have a small removable passerelle here to allow you to get on and off from the transom, but you've got this nice area for bathing. Uh, we've got this flexi-teak platform with a nice inlaid caulking lines and that runs throughout the boat so you can now start to see the colors so we've got this lovely gloss black running along the top combing and matches in nicely with the uh, with the hard top so this is a carbon fiber hard top with an exposed weave on the underside we'll look at that in a sec hot top led uh, anchor and running light and then we've got space if you wanted to on the flat section there you can add a, a radar to integrate with the plotters So beautiful engines, they've got this lovely red detailing which complements the boats really nicely. 
and gives her real uh, impressive top speed. So we're running uh, 62 knots flat out, one of these, and that's really very much a Fabio Butz's ethos that you could run one of these flat out with your uh, with your hands off the wheel. Very safe boat to drive quickly. Always of the mindset really that if it took a, a professional captain on the helm to realise the performance, it defeats the object of, of opening up boats like this to to those that aren't full on race boat drivers. Uh, so helm, we've got twin 16 inch displays. So one is standard, second one is an upgrade on this particular boat, giving navigation depth and what have you, say with the option for, for the AIS and, and a uh, radar up top. Lovely hand laid carbon fiber weave dash panels here. Uh, fusion head unit, which has been upgraded with the speakers. So we've got a standard four speakers in the cockpit here and then we've got two additional ones with an amplifier on the um, on the bathing platform um, these are Mercury's effortless racing throttles so we've got one finger in and out of gear gear controls here gears and throttles separate and then these are our throttle levers with um, a trim on both engines on one lever here so these are very much if you're running at speed you're allowed to open and close the throttle instantly really easy to use gone are the days of the old morphs cables very direct to the engine so you can shut that throttle off and keep the rpm down if you come out the water uh, she'll rev to 7000 rpm before the limiter cuts in typical power max power is around 63 rpm typically and then we've got some little led switches here for down lighters on the arch underwater lights horn bilge pump etc and tucked underneath we've got a, an input for a, an iphone plug-in as well as the bluetooth system and then uh, a DSC Simrad VHF here. Coming across to the helm, so you'll see on the wheel here, we've got a multifunction wheel. These are controls for the navigation system on the screen. So if you're running at speed, you haven't got to take your hands off the wheel. You see they stay still whilst the steering wheel's turning itself. It's a tilt wheel, so we can get into a nice comfy driving position. And sitting here at the helm, you can see really well protected by that giant screen and this curved roof behind us but easy enough to stick your head out if you want to get a breeze. Uh, if we just look up on top, we'll see if we can see this weave in the, in the roof. So, so this is a beautiful hand laid carbon in the roof here. It's very light, but uh, still practical. Uh, you'll notice four seats here for the, uh, for the helm co-pilot and some passengers. Um, it's a Fabio Butzi design in collaboration with Besanzoni, renowned manufacturer Italian company. Um, they've got 120 millimeters of suspension travel here so you see this damper unit underneath the seat it just means if you're running at speed you can really get uh, those shock absorbing seats to um, to take the effort out of running through heavy seas you can see how uh, how much travel there is on those dampers really impressive to use very short footed and you see this beautiful wrap around bolster with uh, with the embossed Sunseeker logos we've got this lovely diamond stitching here and then if you look across on the back seat here, these are sort of inlaid carbon fiber panels on the, it's a Silvertex upholstery. Very pretty, if I just put that back seat cushion back in. You can see comfortably for three people across the platform. Uh, you've got the option here. So we've elected to go for the two pull out refrigeration drawers underneath. Uh, there's a storage locker underneath the back here so this whole back seat twists round to give you a walk through when you first come on board um, and also say storage underneath for for electrical systems and uh, and what have you i uh, missed on the helm here so this is a wireless charging point for your mobile phone a uh, little clever feature on the on the hardtop here so these are uh, create a positive pressure and it just forces the um the water off the screen when you're running and also stops you getting a sort of vortex spinning in behind you to get moisture when you're running at speed. In the front of the console here, so this is a, a heads compartment, big access door, and you know, see nice easy step down. It's not crawling into a, a coffin like many other boats. Uh, we've got an electric Tecma vacuum flush toilet here, um, stainless steel sink up on the wall here, a couple of little coat hooks. There's a display panel up here for um, some of the systems on board little detailing carbon fiber handrails and again the flexi teak floor uh, it's 100 liters of fresh water on the boat there's also a transom shower at the back and then spinning round to look onto the bow 
So we've got this big U-shaped seating area to use in port, uh, storage underneath these, and also a big locker in the floor here, which we'll is pop these up. You'll notice these really heavy duty catches, obviously for running at speed, you need to keep everything secure. So there's a bit of space in there for a life raft or a, or a blow up paddle board. And then underneath these bow cushions, you see the onboard air compressor. So there's one, one of those either side for each tube. Uh, tubes are removable, I think I said earlier, but it does mean, uh, say for shipping, you can keep them protected. Uh, and then there's another locker in this, another locker in this middle seat. And then I'll show you up forward underneath the sump pad. Excuse the camera for a sec. This giant bow locker, very easy access in. You can climb down inside there if you want to. But it's designed to take two uh, F5 Seabob water scooters. So um, you can take the toys with you to the beach for the day. We can put some tie down points in there to keep them secure. Or it's a great place to keep paddle boards and wake boards and all that sort of stuff if you're into your, your water sports. Put the clips back down. And then up forward now, you can see this giant sun pad. We've got this nice sort of raised backrest to give you a pillow. Little details with the cup holders here again, and you can see the, the detailing of the carbon fiber in the cushions. Perhaps a little easier to see the shine in the, in the white pearlescent finish on the paint now, but just open this bow locker. You see stainless steel anchor, chain, lovely stainless motor here with the remote control. And then up forwards, you've got an LED nav light. Up in the middle there, uh, these are pull-up stainless steel deck cleats. Carrying 700 litres of fuel, so we've got a cruising range around 200 miles at uh, 21 knots. So the engines burn around 250 litres now, flat out. So you're, uh, whilst you're getting there very quickly at 62 knots, obviously using a fair bit more fuel at that speed. Um, the foam core itself on the hull makes it technically unsinkable, so very safe boat to drive quickly. And obviously uh, a lot of bulk to her, so she's weighing in around 5,000 kilos. So heavy boat for the size, but really weight is your friend when you're running at sea to, um, to give you that sort of shore footedness, if you like. Uh, spec wise, She's standard about £535,000 ex tax. And as you see her finish now, she's about £559,000 ex tax. So very high spec boats are standard. Not a lot of options really needed to put on them. Only about 5% I think that works out at, which uh, by our normal standards I say is very, very low. So I say if you're looking for something a bit different, a real statement piece, staying on brand, with the Sunseeker pedigree. She is really a pretty unique opportunity. Uh, only one we've got here currently in the UK. Saying so, she is available other than final test and PDI, she could be on the water in a, in a matter of days. So it's, uh, it's a unique opportunity. Never gonna see another one like it when you're out cruising on the water, whether say it's a chase boat for a large yacht or something for your holiday home as a, uh, an A to B point and shoot really for a driver's boat there's nothing else out there with a British badge on the side which is going to give you the same kind of performance sea keeping and the kudos that comes with having a sun seeker if you'd like to know uh, more my name is James Lumley at Sunseeker Southampton my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven uh, drop me an email to james at sunseekersouthampton.com I've got a load more pictures and technical information I can send you on the boat or uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more sedate of course we build our cruiser range starting at 50 feet and working upwards so a special boat for us to see here today very fortunate say just with the recent easing of the lockdown that we could get into the shipyard you see I'm dressed in all my additional PPE here today to meet their requirements just as we start to bring things back into normality in the production lines um, and if you'd like to know more please get in touch